Great, great viewers of my time. Welcome to my channel. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. Today we have a great news for you here. And the headline says, the government to fund Omatikum with 1.4 billion to buy drones. Now, before I go on with the news in detail, I will not hesitate to say press the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we have great news or video for you. And also, the red subscribe button is very important. Now, in detail, the Ekiti State Government has allocated the sum of 1.4 billion for the state security network code name Amoteku Cops in its 2021 budget to battle insecurity in the state. Now, this was reviewed during a press conference on Sunday in Ado Ikiti by the Commissioner for Budget, Mr. Femi Aji, who said that the state was not leaving anything to chance in 2021 in his bid to address growing insecurity in the state, especially kidnapping. He said that the sum of 1.44 billion has been marked by the state government as capital allocation for Amotekum Corps for the procurement of drones for surveillance in the state. Mr. J. Forda added that a total sum of 320 million naira will be spent on safety city project, while the Kitty State Security Trust Fund will go the sum of 55 million naira. He said, following the incessant security challenges, which include kidnapping, headers and farmers clash, robberies in the country, to ensure the security of lives and properties, Governor Kayode Femi inaugurated the Ekiti State Security Trust Fund, Corned Amotiku, in collaboration with the other Southwest state on 19th October 2020. A sum of 1.44 billion naira has been marked as a capital allocation for Matekun Corps for the procurement of drones for surveillance, a sum of 550 million naira has been marked while total of 320 million will be spent on safety city project and the equity state security trust fund will go a sum of 55 million naira the commissioner said aji also added that the state government has a mark a total of 8 billion naira to critical area of social services to include the education sector, health, agenda, gender, empowerment, social security, and other pivotal sub-sectors critical to the growth of the state economy. Well, well, great viewers of my time, I've come to the end of this news. And I believe we heard what is happening. This is exactly what we have been saying. Other governors in Oduduwa land they are busy making sure they provide for their security outfit. Making sure that they give them what they need but our own governors are busy criticizing our then the security outfit, criticizing as in the call, evil government in Igbo land, in Piafa land.
evil governors in Biafra land, evil governors in Odistan region. Let me put it that way. By them themselves as leaders, what are they? Are killers. Sometimes I wonder how we got in contact with all these people. Although the white people, governors are busy providing money and everything for their security network. That security network was established by the former OPC leader. And the governors endorse it. And today they have continuously making sure they provide for the security outfit. Before Eastern Security Network was established by Mazdan de Carlo and Apobians. There was a written letter to these useless condom governors who have both in East, this uh, so called Southeast and South South, mean, meaning Old Eastern region. They were told to establish security at feet to protect our people. But rather, they were talking jargon. They refused to do that. Because of their selfish reason and selfish ambition and their self centered lifestyle. Now that Eastern Security Network has been established by Mazen and the Cardonian, these people refuse to endorse it because they have something in mind, they have plans. They're now, they're now beginning to establish security network in collaboration with Mietiala and the Flanny Hessmen. Mietiala and Flanny Hessmen. Just check it out. A Boeing State Governor collaborating with Mietiala and Flanny Hessmen. Number four terrorist group in the world is what a Boeing State Governor is associating with himself with. Only that disqualify him to be a president of anywhere. Only that disqualify him to be a governor of any place in Ibo land. Only that disqualify him for be, to be an Ibo man. So anybody who believe that the right thing should be said and the right thing must be said should understand that this is exactly the truth. That Devo Maha does not qualify to be an Igbo man. Douglas has to rule any part in Igbo land as a governor. He's not a leader, he's a killer. He is the head of all Igbo governors and he's leading them astray. I know that many of them are, all those governors are selfish and self centered, but Devo Maha. Supposed to lead them correctly, but rather he lead them them astray. That is why they have been kicking against that security network because they have the agenda. They wanted to collaborate with the Fulani Hessmen and Mieti Allah to establish Eastern Security Network to establish a security network in our own land. They are not afraid. A land that belongs to us. Some few governors are busy with their say, evil money. They are bribing our people to go against the Eastern Security Network. Huh. But it's just a f they are fair and arrival. Anybody, anybody who knows where his son is in Igbo land. And Biafra land, especially in the Bible land, should tell his son to stay away from Devo Maya's security network. And all the rest of the governors in the state, 
in the land because it will put them in trouble when they do that they are going against the people of the land the youth the people that owns the land because these governors are just few percent of your people they don't owe any shit in Ebola apart from their house this is why we said that we will no longer tolerate this we will make sure that Eastern Security Network stays we will try our possible best to make sure it's well taken care of we don't even need their info money that they got from the blood of our brothers and sisters just like the way we can massacre people boys youth because of political ambition they have done it before all the whole governors did it if you don't have to know now that they are taking your destiny anytime you left why can't you ask yourself why is it that every time you left home there is, a, there is a election. That is the time they will come, give you money, give you rice, this and that. And after that, they will stop. These times are the time they are taking your destiny. And that is why people are getting poor and poorer. Anyone that has struggled hard to achieve something, they will look for a way to bring him down. Especially if that person is coming against them, after them. This is why we said enough is enough. These people are not, are not our governors. And we should know this. The only leader we have right now is Mazinan de Kahlo. Some people say I call him Kahlo, but that is not what I call him. I called him Kano. It's just that you do not listen to my pronunciation well. And I will not like to repeat this again in this channel. I know where I'm coming from. You can't tell me how to pronounce Mazinan de Kahlo's name. Maybe. You are not concentrating in the news, rather you want to come here to tell me how I pronounce the name of Hamadike or Kano. My pronunciation must not be the same like yours. Everybody has his own different talk. But when I say Kano, that is how it is. Like I said before, you don't know where I'm coming from. The pronunciation here is Kano Namode. Kano. Though normally it's Nande Kano, but I call him Namode Kano. I know why. So, great viewers of my time, I'll say drop your comment in the comment section, share this news, and stay blessed. Cheers.